All right, folks, welcome to a long overdue, crisp, butty video. Now, I'm not too sure why it's been a while since I've uh, recorded one of these, and just like the other two videos in this series, this isn't one that I intended to make uh, because I'm still waiting to make the ultimate crisp sandwich slash butty. But um, I need the, all the uh, the ingredients and they're easy to get hold of, but I just never remember to do so. But um, this is an important one because recently Walkers in their max range teamed up with KFC and released two flavours, I think, at this point. Uh, the first one is just the sort of standard, you know, KFC flavoured slash inspired version. And they also did a Zynga um, version as well. Haven't been able to get hold of the Zynga version, um, so there may be a part two to this. Maybe once I've finished this one, I can improve on the next crisp butty slash sandwich video. But when I finally found them, I thought, that's it, we're recording the video. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, I've already actually had some of these because I picked up two packs, one so I could do this and then one just to, to try with um, my brother because we're, we've been abusing um, Uber Eats, let's just say since lockdown began. And, um, and I'm just gonna put out there straight away, the actual regular flavor, it'd be a push if you were to say it was a completely KFC tasting crisp. Um, I would say it was more like a, sort of like a Piri Piri style. And it had some very subtle hints of those spices you get from KFC in the sort of like the standard blend. That secret kernel recipe. But you only know that they are KFC flavoured crisps because you know you're eating a KFC flavoured crisp. Uh, but it's one of those things, isn't it? Whenever crisp companies do these flavours, a lot of the times they don't actually taste like what they're supposed to. They sort of like taste like tweaked versions of pre-existing flavours. But they always seem to be dead nice and then they're never around for too long. So hopefully, uh, depending on the popularity of this, because I could imagine these being very popular, a lot of buzz on like your Instagrams, your blogs and all that sort of stuff. It sounded like I was a 50 year old man then trying to explain the internet to people. So uh, it would be interesting to see if they do stick around. So Walker's Max, the irresistible deep bridge crisp, burst with flavour, Burst with delicious KFC flavour for the ultimate taste explosion in every bite. KFC flavour, max satisfaction. And uh, with these packs, you also get a free meal that you can redeem at a KFC. So that's always good. So if we've actually kept hold of the first pack, we'll keep hold of this one because we're scrubbers. That's what we are. So, um, yeah. Long-winded introduction. Let's see what we need to make this sandwich. So of course, the fundamental of a crisp butty can be adapted, of course, is Warburton's Toasty. The best bread for crisp sandwiches slash butties. Also, the main star of the show, the crisps themselves. And also, now I'm sure there's multiple brands that do this sort of stuff. We got this from Home Bargains, I think. And of course, it's the Southern Style Gravy Mix. This is uh, how it's looked. I've made it purposely a little bit thicker and lumpier. Now, of course, ultimately, if you had KFC gravy, fantastic. Let it go cold. Use it that way. But um, this isn't too bad. Um, it's no, not really close uh, to the you know original KFC gravy but it does a good job and as is always the case a nice butter but because it's a little bit too firm to spread although that being said we're actually going to toast the bread lightly on this occasion so yeah use butter but you can use margarine if you so wish 
So I'm going to get the bread toasted. You don't need to see me do that because we all know how to use a toaster. And uh, yeah, we'll get on to the actual sandwich itself. Okay, so this is essentially what we're looking for on the toast itself. Not really toasted, but with just a little bit of a coloration, just so it's a little bit, a little bit more reinforced, shall we say. So, as is 90% of the case, oh, by the way, we've got Chris Butty Belly camera once again. One day, Rob, Mr. Hopsine, I will invest in a tripod. God, that is a very, very hard butter. And plus, the, the good thing about this being freshly toasted is it'll melt the butter a little bit. So as I was uh, about to say before, I rudely interrupted myself. We're always going to go with one side lightly buttered. I mean, if you wanted to butter both sides, that's absolutely up to you. But I don't know. When it's too buttery, it's not for me, although I do like a nice, simple buttered toast. There we go, that's enough of that. And then we've got our gravy. Lovely stuff. And you just want a thin layer spread on the other piece of toast. Now what you could also add to this if you wanted to, if you've got any sort of like leftover chicken from a roast, or if you've got any of the, you know, store-bought chicken pieces for sandwiches or whatever, you could add that to the um, the butty just for a little bit more added texture and also to actually get the chicken aspect of the KFC. Let's just get rid of that little bit. So just a it's probably in fact maybe a little bit too much but it doesn't really matter and then we will put our crisps on this side and if you aren't able to get hold of the zinger versions you can always pimp it up with your favorite hot sauce i could imagine well i'm saying i could imagine a specific sauce to be good but because i've not tasted it yet but probably one of my go-to hot sauces recently is Frank's hot sauce but I have been really enjoying when I've been able to get hold of it the sauce shops um, buffalo wing sauce buffalo sauce is awesome probably my favorite type of hot sauce but Frank's original very versatile so we'll move that out of the way as is always the case a very professionally staged video but at least you're in 60 frames in 4k oh and dropping crisps out of your mouth so diagonal or halfway through the bread, which is also diagonal. I'm gonna go diagonal. Now I know people like prefer to slice toast this one. Listen to that crunch. So there we are, quite simple, but that's the aim of the game with Chris Butty's slash sandwiches. So I'll quickly grab a pretentious thumbnail of this and uh, we'll have a little bit of a taste. So stick around. So here it is. Uh, aesthetically quite simple. Uh, there's not much to it. As said, you can always jazz it up with maybe some sliced chicken or pre-cooked chicken or leftover chicken, just to get that full KFC experience. But it's all about those crisps and a little bit of that gravy. In fact, probably being a little bit tight with the amount of crisps on that 
but hey ho, we'll give it a taste. That's very nice. That is very, very nice. You get more of an aftertaste of like KFC, I would say. And of course the saltiness as well, which I'm, is primarily coming from that gravy. Which actually, never talk with your mouthful. It's probably just me telling myself this, but it tastes like KFC. It tastes like you've dipped your KFC popcorn chicken or dippers, whatever, into the tub of gravy. I mean, if we had the KFC gravy, then we're going up another level. But the fundamental fact is, that's a very, very tasty Chris Butty slash sandwich. And um, very finger licking good. Don't know why I did that, that's cringy as fuck. Mm. Yeah, that's a winner. That definitely helps the crisps. It really, really does. But yeah, that's sort of like Southern style gravy. If you haven't got the KFC gravy. Mm. And in fact, if I haven't disgusted you enough already, I was going to save that other half for my brother to try, but I'm so tempted to actually dip it in the gravy itself. So I won't do that. I'll refrain from doing that, but I'll dip a crisp in. Yeah, even though the gravy is cold, because it's thick and up. Yeah, that's good. So, if I do get to pick up some of the Zynga versions, I'll definitely do another follow-up video. But, if you've got any recommendations on how to take that sandwich to the next level, or even this one, let me know in the comments. I've had some feedback on some very specific crisp butties slash sandwiches uh, that don't just use Warburton's toasty bread. So look out for those uh, in the future. I'm still going to make the ultimate crisp butty. So hold tight for that one. And um, yeah, as always, your recommendations. What is your favourite crisp butty? And uh, I'll get, I'll eventually get round to recording them. I want to do these a bit more regularly than I have done. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is an absolute triumph for a crisp that initially didn't give you that KFC vibe. Not to blow my own trumpet, but with some southern style gravy combined onto a sandwich. It's basically, if you're a fat pig like me, you're going to love it anyway. So yeah, cheers for watching, folks. And hopefully it won't be too long before you see me do another crisp butty slash sandwich. See you guys later.